when, I, when we were in Lower Egypt, I continuously said, some of you asked, why weren't there any temples in Lower Temple? This is the Lord. Why is it lower? Because the Nile is flowing from the south, which is upper, and it's flowing like this, down like this. So this would be Lower Kemet. There are no temples here because the invasions came in the Delta, this region right here. The Hyksos held this area of Avaris, the Delta region that you see right here. So the pyramids were built for eternity. So of course, when we made our first stop, we stopped in the Giza Plateau, and we saw the pyramids of Khufu, Kafra, Mikara, and also Haru and Aki. And even though that was not the chronological beginning, but we know that most of you are familiar with the Great Pyramid, so we stopped there first. And then we went on into the Step Pyramid, built by Imhotep for his Nesu, that is Zosar Netraket. And also we went on into the area of Dajar. And there you can see again, where Seneferu had two pyramids built. And there are other pyramids also in other areas, in Midam and other areas all the way down the Nile. But in ancient times, there would have been temples here too, like in Menefer, there would have been temples here, just like we saw, just like in Ahmed ibn Sut, and there also in Inu, where near present day where the Cairo airport is at. And we continued all the way down to where we are right here, where we've made our first stop. Of course, and you've got your, your temple experience right here. So you got the temple of Ibn Rasut called Luxor. And we talked about how one of those Tekkenus was torn down by Champollion and given to France, where it's in Dino Concord to, to this very day. And the next day, we made our procession in the Grand Baba Temple, the Temple of Amun, that you see. And over here is the model of the West Bank. That means the funerary temples in the West Bank and also the Valley of the King. So as you can see, why is it that most of these temples are intact? Because the invasions came from up here. About time we got down here, it's almost like they got tired of destroying. So fortunately, these temples are intact, we will see. Now the last place that we will go will be all the way down. This is where we're going to fly. Here we're down here. We'll come down here. And we see that this area right here, the Temple of Aset. But now, when we fly from Aswan in this area here, we're going to go to Abu Simbel. This is where we're going to uh, tomorrow, right here to Abu Simbel. So that kind of, that's the last temple that you will see, that's the last temple that you want to have in your mind when we get to this area right here because it's such a grand scale. Our first of all, Adras, the Temple of the Samari Amin, who built that temple. And all of us should be able to say his name when we finish this. So, this is our 700 mile journey that we have made, all the way down to it. And each one of these areas, we could have spent our whole educational program in one spot. We could have spent the whole time in the Valley of the Kings. We could have spent the whole time right here. We could have spent the whole time in the pyramid, okay? So let's give, by the way, our undivided attention to give us some more details on what you're looking at.